Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. Previously on part eight, we went to the Olympic Game Farm and we also picked up our truck to move our stuff down to Arizona. Well, good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. And this is kind of like a happy day, sad day. It's a beautiful day here in Hidalgo Beach. You can see down here. But today is the day we already got the truck you saw yesterday to uh, load stuff up. And uh, so in about an hour or so, Sherry and I and the friend uh, Todd, who's helping us out, we really appreciate, is uh, we're going to go over and fill up the truck. Once we're done with that, we're going to store the truck over the storage unit for another night. Tonight, we'll have the RV ready and we're going to get up exceptionally early and drive both units over to uh, Central Oregon and then we'll get a day over there. So anyway, that's the plan and we'll start showing you what we're doing with the storage unit. So to explain these we next few clips, we had a little wonder, trouble with this segment. Sure so sit back. Took us about did we six takes, place? but it was kind of funny, <laughs> so enjoy. And the, the thing is, is it's a beautiful place. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. But, and, and this is the weather, oh my God, this is the best weather ever. The problem is, <laughs> what's the problem? Go ahead. <laughs> it rains a lot. There's a reason why it's so green here. And uh, <laughs> however, when it's, when it's pretty, it's really pretty mm -hmm. and that's what's really enchanting about Washington but about September comes along and the gray stuff clouds start coming and my wife keeps running away from the camera <laughs> <You're> pushing <laughs> me off the, it's I'm going to sit that way the Sun is up here that's why I'm doing this oh my God. Ugly hair. <laughs> anyway so I uh, had to cut it there <laughs> fill off the little thing here anyway so alrighty guys so uh, I thought I'd tell you, some people are probably wondering why uh, we love this place. <laughs> take four. Hi guys, so I bet you're wondering, I bet you're wondering, I'm sure you're wondering. Hi guys, so anyway I thought I'd take the time to explain why did we move from Washington and my, my <laughs> wife here is being a, a turd, <laughs> although it's to it. <laughs> anyway, so uh, um, if you notice it's just been beautiful and uh, when it's beautiful here in Washington you can't beat it <laughs> that's for sure huh no. uh, and then she's still being a turd <laughs> so anyway <laughs> so the big thing about this place is like September <laughs> you know I'm keeping this I'm, I'm gonna put this on so I hope <laughs> Because she always <laughs> is very serious, and now she's being a turd. So now you know what a puppet show comes from the turds? It's because of her. <laughs> so anyway, so when September comes, it gets gray and rainy and icky pooey. And, uh, and you start getting uh, pretty depressed and the whole works. And it goes on for like, what, six months? A long time. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, so... And we've lived a lifetime here, so we kind of know us when we're taking Lane and all those people around. It's like, you know, we really know this area. And so it's kind of cool to learn new areas. Mm -hmm. So we have Arizona to conquer, and that'll take a long time to see all the really cool places there. And there's other, you know, it's kind of neat to see the other states, but yeah, this is definitely a special state to us. And we like Oregon too. Mm -hmm. um, Central Oregon is one of our favorite places too. But it's time to move on and it's good memories and it'll always be nice to come up here, especially when we know the, the weather's good. Yeah. <laughs> and then we don't have to see the gray weather. And uh, we also notice when you live in an area that has blue skies a lot and open openness, um, to come to a place like this where all the trees and stuff, you start feeling confined a little bit. So that's kind of one of the reasons why it was time to move on. We love this place to death. Never say anything bad about it other than the rain. But uh, that's one of the reasons. So we, although it's going to be sad to leave here, it's also going to be exciting to get back home and <laughs> send her once her pool back. <laughs> anyway, that's our story. I'm sticking to it. Okay.
she's still a turd well it's finally done we didn't uh, show the filming of it but we did successfully empty the storage unit which is right behind me it is completely empty and the truck's all filled up and we're ready to roll so <laughs> we gotta get up really really early in the morning and I'll have the fifth wheel and she's gonna have the truck and uh, we are off to Central Oregon so when we get to Central Oregon we'll be there for a day so we'll try to show some Central Oregon pictures and then two days of really hard driving to get back to Phoenix so all the playing is kind of <laughs> we're not going to be playing so much darn we'll try to play so anyway we're really happy to have this all empty and we're really happy we don't have to pay for it anymore and then now we're moving the RV down to Central Oregon we don't have to pay for that anymore so we're pretty happy about that so anyway I hope you enjoyed <laughs> seeing that we hit our big accomplishment anyway we'll move on and show you Central Oregon well good morning guys it is Thursday we are all hooked up we had to be kind of quiet getting out of the park because it was kind of early. We ended up uh, getting out around 5 o'clock in the morning. We were going to do 3, but <laughs> found that the, the storage place we're at right now, where Sherry just went in to go get the moving truck. She's going to bring it out here, and I'm waiting in the parking lot back here because I don't want to take the RV in there, so I'm waiting for her to pick up the moving truck. She'll come out to the gate right here, and then we'll start proceeding uh, to Central Oregon. So, got Cinder in the back. It's kind of dark because it's early in the morning, and uh, we got to fight some of the Seattle traffic, people going to work. It's not too bad once we get to Bellevue and we hit I-90 and we start heading towards the mountains, we get away from the traffic. But it'll be a little bit of white knuckle in the morning here once we get out of town uh, we'll be good so anyway we'll show you more as we go as we get on the road and uh, it gets lighter and we'll show you some of the pretty stuff so talk to you later hi guys a little later in the day we got oh, the battery went dead the last cut I just did so we've been on the road for about two hours three hours we're oh, just outside of Yakima Washington Everything's going pretty good. Sherry had to stop and get fuel, and I'm getting fuel at a different spot. And we're meeting up in a place called Toppenish. So anyway, we're uh, I gotta kind of pay attention here, but I'll let you see what uh, let you see what's going on here. Well, we're here in Toppenish, <laughs> getting topped off with fuel. Anyway, so I'm pulling the uh, fifth wheel, and Sherry's driving the rental truck. How do you like driving a rental truck? It's fine. It's awesome. Easy. Easy. So we're at the halfway point for today. We're gonna go another 50 miles to Goldendale and have lunch. Yep. Guess where? McDonald's. McDonald's. Uh. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, we're starving. Uh, we didn't eat all morning, and uh, everything's going pretty good. So anyway, we'll see you in McDonald's.
Stay tuned for part 10 when Rob and Shuri make it to Central Oregon. Thank you for watching part 9 of Return to Washington. Stay tuned for our next episode and part 10 where we get to Central Oregon. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Talk to you later.